Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at ModMy.com. Today we're looking at Randomy. This is a free tweak in the Big Boss repo and it's compatible with iOS 7 and above. This colorizes your entire iOS 7 UI with random tint color and blur. Let me show you how this works. So if we open up one of our folders is where I'm going to start showing you first. And if you see the background is sort of a beige color now. And if we sit here just long enough, it will change. You can also change the duration at which it changes colors. The transition, I guess you would call it. Now you see we have a purple color. And you have this sort of tint color, if you want to call it that. Anywhere that the background is visible, almost anyway, uh, I noticed that it was even in the uh, FaceTime app which you see I have that blur on so it's not very clear the, uh, the the background is changing though you can see now it's sort of an orange color if we go into the app store you'll notice that up at the top there the, where the featured label is that will be changing colors and at the bottom down here you have a tinted color that'll change as well too it just it tints the entire UI guys there's just so much things at so many places that this is uh, tinting it's but there are some settings for randomy and here they are you can enable the color transition animation stage for the entire UI and you see I have that turned on here's the color transition duration I was telling you about if you wanted to put you know that change that much faster say two seconds a color transition delay is down to a second you know there's a lot of things in here you can switch up fix two colors dot blur which you know I haven't played around with that a lot here's where I did change the animated tint blur and they have they have a, a normal backdrop a backdrop blur animated backdrop tint blur and so on so we'll just put that back on normal and here you can even adjust the blur hardness color hardness and I'll turn that as far up as we can go with that and the tint color opacity you can change that up a bit the blur radius you know you can make that larger or smaller color randomization you know these things here I'm just playing around with I don't even know what it is I'm doing and I don't, I'm not sure if that would require a respring or not no it doesn't look like it does and you can see now the colors are changing much faster. They're more of a uh, solid color now than just a tint looks like. So that's called randomy. Check it out, guys. I will tell you, it will it does slow your UI down a little bit. iOS 7 doesn't seem to run as fluidly. But anyway, it's free. Hopefully the developer can update it where that won't be a problem. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. Share this and keep coming back.